Welcome, so you want to uh, disassemble this Samsung Galaxy E9300 which is seems like it's different than the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, US carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T uh, this most likely is from uh, uh, Europe so and originally this phone is right now working under Movistar Mexico so let's uh, remove the screws here and see what will be the difference from the other uh, I know that I already have a video of Samsung Galaxy S3 and how to disassemble it but since this is a different model, completely different well it's, uh, so I hope that uh, the steps might be different so that's why I'm making this video hopefully it's gonna give you an idea how to open or at least uh, check out the parts uh, how hard it is to uh, remove any components like camera or motherboard so um, loudspeaker um, headset uh, adapter so okay we already remove all the screws so you wanna use a flat end screwdriver to remove this uh, frame here let's see how it works on this side okay gonna kinda lift in this area okay okay so alright so this is the back frame uh, this is the loudspeaker and this is the ear speaker which is different from the S3 this is the front face camera, I can remove this flex cable and remove the uh, front face camera and so if this one stop working you can easily remove it and replace for a different one I don't pull it because there is another cable under it so we want to disconnect this flex cable here and see what we're gonna find alright so they disconnect this flex cable might be from the uh, touchscreen digitizer or the LCD so this is the coaxial cable that connects from the Wi-Fi antenna to the motherboard and this is the motherboard so it looks similar and to remove the camera just uh, pop it up so this is the main camera so you can replace that part this is the motherboard, charging port SIM card slot and external memory card so this is damage so we can replace this one in case it doesn't stop working on your Gucci ones. You can just uh, insert the screw here and remove the just the SIM card and SD card slot and remove it and replace for a new one in case that uh, this one stop working on your phone. And this is the motherboard. So the most expensive part on the phone is this one and the screen. So. Um, Alright, so we can, we are able to remove the front face camera by removing this uh, screw that is attached to it. Okay, so make sure not to lose these screws as, as different as the others. So when you need to, okay, so this is the front face camera unit, so you want to set that apart, and the ear speaker, you can remove this ear speaker, but the flex cable is connected to all through this one, okay, so, and the coaxial cable is under this one connected to the Wi-Fi antenna, alright so you can also remove this one okay as far as uh, if your phone doesn't work but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that because this one works properly I don't want to damage anything um, 
but the only reason that you want to remove it from your phone is because you need to replace it, it doesn't work so and this one you can easily remove also I'll just peel the flex cable and the antenna I'm gonna go ahead and take out the tape here okay so this is the okay so this is the ear speaker uh, flex cable is attached to the uh, volume flex cable as well okay so you need to remove that one just be very very careful okay and this is the power key or power button but this one is a switch so you don't need to do anything else for that and this is the vibrator, uh, so your vibrator starts working, you can replace it, this is a flex cable, so once you lift this one, you're going to build the uh, flex cable to, to replace one, see if it doesn't work. Okay, so the main reason you're going to disassemble this one, because you're going to replace the screen on this phone, so you may, you may need uh, assistance, uh, just watch my video on how to remove this screen on this phone, okay? Uh, Samsung... Uh, GT model I9300 okay uh, if you have any other questions uh, please let me know thank you